Hi everyone, welcome back to Drawn to Life. When we last left off, we were just about to challenge the boss, Deadwood. And since we last left off, I realized that I had my cursor on being recorded through my recording software, and I had just noticed that now, after recording about three episodes, I would love to go back and re-record them and get rid of that mouse cursor, but that's about 45 minutes of content, and I really don't... Uh, it would be a lot of effort to go back and do that just for a mouse cursor. So I hope you'll forgive me. It won't be an issue going forward. I've taken care of that. So let's head straight into the boss. Deadwood. World 2-5, Deadwood. Okay. Going in with... Low hopes, but high expectations. Well, it's high hopes, low expectations. Meddlesome hero, the time of shadow is upon us. Alright, and the first thing you want to do is head straight for the top up, if you can get there in time. And whenever he does that, um, you want to glide if you can. Okay, uh, he's also going to spawn bats, and we're going to keep falling. This is what I consider maybe one of the harder boss fights. Yeah. So what you want to do, if you can... So there's one heart up here if you really need it, and we're gonna need it, I suppose, so... What you want to do here is shoot at the highest level one first. Um, because once you destroy one, he's going to do that again, but we haven't destroyed it yet. You gotta shoot three times to destroy it, so you've gotta really conserve your arm, uh, ammo. And really watch out for the bats, because they are really gonna be everywhere. But thankfully, when you fall, uh, yeah, so we're probably gonna die a lot of times here. I would consider this probably, um... I honestly don't think the final boss fight of this game... Yeah, we're definitely going to die a few times here. Uh, I wouldn't consider the final boss of this game too difficult, but... Um, yeah, well, I don't think we're going to make it very far. Let's just take our death. Rip. Alright, we got him down to his last leg of health. Uh, definitely be as careful as you can. And start with the top, and... Hopefully we'll be able to take him out soon enough. There's also another heart over there. Um, in the farther right portion. But let's take him out if we can. There we go. And to the second part of the boss fight. This is our service is kind of our checkpoint. So if you die in here, don't worry. You'll still be here. And who are we rescuing this time? Deadwood, Arg, Rapasa, Corruption, Wilfrey. Uh oh, looks like we want to stay away from those. Prepare to die. Alright, we can't just free him here, but eventually Deadwood will fly around. Yep, he'll do that. And we'll want to try not to get hit by him, but shoot uh, acorns at him. We can. <laughs> there we go. And he'll just keep sliding around, I suppose? Come on, Deadwood, where are you at? Alright, this is not gonna go super well, is it? No. Nope. Thanks for the heart. Hopefully we'll be able to get there in time. And we got him too! Let's go! It's not over yet. Got him! That was a little bit faster than I expected, and... Gar, Wolvlox, thank you for ridding me of the shadow. It's 
Samuel, you're back. I am. I owe my life to Wolflocks. The corruption is spreading. Is this Terraria? I, I thought it was the Shadow. Wolflocks, your job is not done yet. You must face Wolfery and defeat him. Well, it's, that seemed like pretty probable. Samuel was always distant. But I'm sure he could give you some good advice. You should speak with him. From this time... From, from time to time. Everything seems to have quieted down. You defeat a dead one? Dead one was easy. Somewhat challenging. Well, I'm glad to see you made it out okay. It's only going to get more challenging from this point forward. Oh boy. I'll be near the northern pass. Uh, the northern path. I think it's time we've cleared some more darkness. This is the mayor at the northern path. Oh, I guess we'll meet him there. Alright, I stopped by Isaac's store real quick, and it looks like we can buy another ability, so we're gonna purchase that with all of our money. And we now have the slide ability. Well, sorry, was, was, was that what it was? <laughs> I don't even remember, I was just looking at it. Yes, slide. I wonder if that means we can just slide anywhere now and do the same amount of damage. But we're also going to donate some money to our well, of course. I think we'll donate about a thousand. That sounds good. Hopefully we'll be getting more money our way. And we receive a new song. And that's it. Well, can't hold for too much. And we'll go meet the mayor at the northern path, which should be just over here. Yep. Hello, Mayor. Wolvox, north of here is the rest of the village. But the path there is covered in darkness. If the crater can clear the clouds, we'd have room for more Raposa. Did you visit the Eternal Flame? Yes, yes, yes. Really? I thought Mari last time we didn't even have to tap on it. Well, I guess maybe we did, but yeah, it just clears a little, a small amount of clouds. And now we clear the darkness from the path. I wonder though if no okay I think I think when you clear the eastern path you can actually like explore it before you finish clearing all the clouds but not in this case we have to finish clearing all the clouds first and just like that the northern path should be unlocked well the creator cleared the path to the northern section of the village why don't you take a look around you find the village island gate near the north beach I'll be at the village hall if you need me Another gate, you say. Explore the northern part of the village. Okay. All the way up here. And there's a gate. Samuel. This gate leads to the Rapo Islands. I have something for you. You'll need flippers and a helmet to survive underwater. Well, yeah. Maybe that helmet. Definitely. Let's take this page back to the mayor. Is it the mayor? Well, I, I feel like the water hurt us before because it was really cold. I mean, not exactly the best. Who's standing over here? Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown, what are you doing over here? What? <laughs> Interesting. Alrighty. Let's go talk to the mayor. Yeah, they always be like, see me if you need anything. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to need you in a little bit. Samuel had a page from the Book of Life. Let me take a look. Hmm. That appears to be a pair of flippers and a helmet. The next village gate leads to a world filled with islands and underwater caverns. Ooh, that's exciting. The skier should help you survive underwater. Let me place this page back in the Book of Life. Or just in the Book of Life. Great, now the creator can draw them. Equip, equip wolf locks with flippers and a helmet. Alright, and it'll give us a little preview of what our items look like. Uh, of course, we're going switch to switch to the other color palette, because I just like its color selection a little bit better. I think we're going to go for a blue, of course. Um, they don't have to be perfect. Well, maybe we'll me just fill them in for our sake. And the helmet, though, we will probably just, um, 
paint solid and then erase the corners because that wouldn't look very good if it were like that. Um, and we'll erase it in the center. So, you know, it looks like a natural helmet, you know. I, I think in the next game, there's actually a paint erase option, but until then, we'll just have to manually erase here and make it look decent. Of course, it might work on the side to make this look better, but for now, it'll get the job done. Come on, come on, there we go. I know we're missing some on the side here. Let's fill that back in. That looks so weird. There we go. Got a helmet and some flippers. Helmet doesn't look too visible over our crown, though. Where is Mari? She has work to do. She probably went to explore the northern village. She loves the beach. Well, Vox, can you find her? Find Mari. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 I think we can do that. All the way up here, probably. I told you we'd find something. Hmm? Yeah, a piece of paper in an old Rappo bottle. It could be a treasure map. Yeah, or some secret love letter. Hmm. You better open it then. It looks like a page torn from the Book of Life. I, I thought Wilfrey just tore those and threw them into the wind. I didn't think he put one into a bottle. Uh, hi, Wolvox. We found something that maybe you can use. Come over here and I'll give it to you. No, uh, no thanks. <laughs> no, okay, we'll grab it, we'll grab it. Here you go, Wolvox. Better go see my dad about it. A page from the Book of Life. I mean, I keep running back and forth. I just want to, I just want to move on. Come on. All right, Mayor, what do we got to do next? We probably got to upgrade our weapon, huh? I don't think we'd be shooting acorns anymore. Where did you get this? Uh, I went treasure hunting. Oh, uh, well, let's we'll be honest. Joey and Mari found it. I wonder what else is buried in the village. I'm sure Joey won't rest until he's dug up the entire beach. This is a page from the Book of Life. It's a star zooka. I'll place it back in the Book of Life. And the creator can draw it for you. Let's draw a star zooka. It'll probably look similar to our previous weapons, but you know, maybe we'll make a few enhancements. All right, here's our star zooka. We just filled everything in, and in our container, of course, is gonna be some stars. I assume some sea stars. But I wonder what kind of attack they'll be. We had snowballs, which just straight, shoot straight forward. We had the uh, exploding acorns, and I wonder what the starfish will do. Well, it looks like you're ready for the Rappo Islands. I assume you've located the Village Island Gate. Yeah, we've only been there two previous times. My wife and son be getting back from the beach. They say it's... <laughs> they, they say it's damn more boring than watching rocks. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's no good. Wolvox, could you enter the surf beach and bring back some fun toys for the beach? Really? Maybe a beach ball and a parasol? I see that the village is prioritizing the right thing, so before you go, visit Isaac. He can modify your star zooka and trade you your acorns for starfish. Sea stars, sea stars. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and comment. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new content comes out. I'm Wolvlox, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!